fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce effing Lee. He has graced the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. Folks, here we go, undisputed UFC heavyweight championship fight, and all eyes are on the incumbent as he makes the walk here tonight, and he's enjoying every moment of it. Huge title defense beckons for him tonight. John, he loves where he stands in the sport. He loves the admiration that comes with being the baddest man on the planet. He knows he's the biggest, he's the strongest, he's the baddest, and he loves it. And he prepares as if he never wanted to let that go. This man lives for being the best. This man lives to be in the spotlight. And time and time again, we see him defend this belt as if his life depended on it. Well, right, you lose this belt, it's essentially like walking back into your new life. He has no intention of suffering that fate here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions. We go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Assassin. Herb Dean, our third man Ready. in the octagon for this Ready. one. Good. Well, there have been a lot of seminal UFC moments inside the world's most famous arena, and we are back at Madison Square Garden tonight. Should be a good Who gets that shining moment in the world's greatest arena? I experienced it. I know how it feels to walk out of that octagon at MSG with a championship. Will you get that moment tonight? Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, straight left counter. That'll work. Nice combination there by Lee. Oh, beautifully placed knee. Oh, now he lands a shot to the leg. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call <laughs> all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, I hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Good stick. Oh, beautiful job to snap his head back with that counter strike. So he's landed several of his patented counters here in this round, really doing an excellent job, not just with his offensive timing, but with his defensive skills as well. Well, he has done a masterful job using his opponent's aggressiveness and offense against him here tonight. Just look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. The counter striking has been the big story of this fight. Oh, 
Just over three minutes to go round one. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Yeah, he wants to draw his opponent in here, looking to set up another counter, but he wants his opponent to strike first. Oh, effective strike from the clinch there by Lee. Connects with a beautiful jab. Back and forth we go. Lee gets caught by the inside leg kick. Oh. Just over two minutes to go. Nice block. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was gonna invest in the body and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. He didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Unable to connect there. Leg kick lands. Oh, beautifully placed with the left hook counter. Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on the side of his body. Just mixing everything up there. Finding his target, using his punches, his kicks, and everything else to try to do damage to his opponent's body. I love this game plan. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Let me see that hook now. Ooh. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And the strike lands clean. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Just missed on the front kick there. Loaded up on that one and landed. 20 seconds to go in round one. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, take a seat for me, bud. Breathe. Get a deep breath in. All right, here's some water. Ready? Listen. All right. Now you're doing awesome out there. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Second round here. Book on him coming in was that he. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. The book on him coming in was as one of the more precise counter strikers in this division, and he certainly had his game going there in the previous oh, round. He is absolutely one of the best counter strikers we've ever seen, and you saw that with some of those counter strikes that he landed early and often. Big left hook coming, it's just. His jab is good. There it is. This pace is just absurd. He has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches in bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Lead left punch. 
He's sticking him over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Oh, he continues to attack the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. Caught the kick. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Beautiful setup to the leg kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Oh, back and forth we go. He's trying to find a home for that right hand. Just over three minutes to go in round two. strike to the body really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds oh nice right hand well that body kick was there earlier not there on that attempt Just over two minutes to go. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, he's got hand skills for days. Beautiful combination of punches to the head. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. You know, when guys start to tell you, kick me here again, they start to posture. That means that what you're doing is actually taking an effect on him. Right hook to the head. Went for the inside leg kick. Beautiful straight punch there by Lee. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been striking. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Defensively responsible, nice block. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. Big right hand. He's got to keep pressing here. Oh, huge kick to the leg. Big knee to the body. Ten minutes in the can. All right, that's the end of the round, so the complexion of this one may have changed a little bit. You see the cut above his eyes sustained in that round. One of the best cut men in the business. He'll get in there and try to close it up before it becomes a bigger issue than it already is. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. 
Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Trying to kick the leg out. Nice crack there. Done, drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Oh! You better get that elbow down or he's gonna keep blasting those body kicks right to your ribs. Oh, again. He checked that last one. You cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Kicks all day, his mobility is compromised. Might get it back a little bit as the fight continues, but that's an obvious limp right now. Well, it's gonna take ice on the calf, ice on the thigh, when he gets to the corner to try and bring it back. But once you get dead leg, there's not much you can do. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Nice kick. Looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fall and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. All right, so the swelling. Oh, oh big left. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He could find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he's tasked to try to find that shot again. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Oh, nice kick. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. And that spinning kick out its home up top. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Oh, beautifully placed shot to the leg. Lands another strike upstairs, and for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the swelling. He can't miss it, eh? And when you saw the swelling initially, you knew that he needed to change something. He still has not changed that. And while it's getting worse, it's still not at a point where we should panic. But a few more, and he's going to find himself in a dire situation. Back and forth we go. Wow! And now some separation. Oh, another strike to the torso right there. Got it. Oh. Big left hand lands upstairs. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. 20 seconds left. Oh, the kick landed. Final seconds of round three. Wow. Oh. That is it! Oh, my goodness! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout.
we go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 54 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one?